All right, guys. So it seems to me that I was just over uh, complicating things. Uh, I don't actually for re live retargeting. We don't actually need to use that hack that I made. That's only really necessary for. That's only really necessary for, say, if you are sharing a skeleton with a character, then you might need to do that. Um, but since we're using live retargeting, that isn't necessary. And I'll show you uh, why. So the live retargeting isn't 100% consistent. So some poses might seem a little off and then other poses might seem perfectly fine. So for example, I adjusted this for the rifle, but for the pistol, it looks almost like he's aiming a little high. Uh, I don't know what to tell you about that, but I will show you how to, and that just has to do with the live retargeting. So if you need to adjust the hands, you can actually do it in real time from the live retargeter. You don't have to use that hack that I was using. For the live retargeter, we, we're going to handle it a little differently, and we're actually going to uh, create the offsets directly on the live retargeter settings. So on the chain map, you can just select the left arm, and you can create a static offset right here on this. Yeah, so as far as the fingers go, as far as the fingers go, I will look into that. But that's going to boil down to retargeting settings. So on the skeleton, you can mess around with the translation retargeting, uh, show retargeting options, and you can go to these fingers and you could just select all of those. Actually, it's not gonna work like that, but what you could do is you could recursively apply it to the hands uh, and try that. Or you can come in here and you can mess around with uh, this, maybe try one to one or translation mode globally scaled. I don't think that would work well on the fingers. I don't know. I haven't really played around with uh, the retargeter settings like that uh, in a while, but I will show you if you go to the content drawer and you scroll down to widgets, when you open up this widget here, you can select one of these entries on here and you can press this browse to and it'll take you there. But it's under the content blueprints retargeted characters. That's the animation blueprint that they're using to retarget all of these guys. Um, and in case you didn't know, it, let's see. Yeah, so this is how they're handling the retargeting of the hands. If y'all are interested in looking to see how that happens. Uh, and that's what that's what this is right here. Right here, it's the IK retargeter map. And they're just loading these in here and they're setting they're setting these as tags, component tags on the characters. So if we search for, if we go up here and select this and we search for tags, it should be here somewhere. There it is, it's on the body. I don't know why it didn't show up whenever I searched uh, globally for it, 
but under the body they added a tag and that tag is what the animation blueprint is using to select from this map right here the correct retargeter and so you can find the retargeters in here if you are having trouble finding them but if you browse to them you'll see under those folders under the rigs that's where they're located and this right here let's see if you go to the body and i can't do it while it's running but if i go to the body and i browse to the skeletal asset i can right click and go to skeleton and find skeleton this is a skeleton that all meta humans in here are sharing this right here was an alternative uh hand hack that i was going to implement for the live retargeted characters but it came to find out i came to find out that i didn't need that so you can just uh, offset it right here on the retargeter and that should work fine. If anybody has any problems with that, let me know. Uh, I'll go ahead and go over some of the changes that I made now though. So on the, on the character, I exposed this right here to this function so that I could override this that gets plugged into here from the child and I did the same thing with this logic right here that way I could override this held object right here and the projectile direction and this projectile direction is just a, a cheap hack right now uh, guys so uh, and I'll probably refactor that to use some other method in the future it's just so that at the time like I'm not real familiar with doing stuff like this based off of sockets and if you get the socket rotation the socket world rotation it's supposed to be world rotation but it doesn't actually seem to be world rotation uh maybe i'm wrong um but it didn't seem to be world rotation to me but i'm not real strong at vector math so that might just be a misunderstanding on my part so I exposed to those and on this, what I'm doing is on these functions, I'm just plugging in this one and I'm overriding these from this override right here. And I did the same thing on the basic projectile function. I'm plugging this in instead of this, but whatever was being played from the parent gets plugged back in so that it still plays it and that's basically it that's the rundown on it uh guys and i will see you in the next video let me know if you have any questions or if you have any problems with this particular method and i'll see you later